Lab 4, Transformation. The materials you need for this lab are shown here. You need test tubes, a bucket of ice, LB broth, micropipetter and tips, special LB and antibiotic plates, glass spreading rod and wire inoculating loop, QIA columns, various microfuge tubes, pens and markers, LB plus ampicillin and E. coli broth, sodium chloride, various buffers, and safety equipment. 24 hours before beginning the transformation lab, it is necessary to place a loop of E. coli into a test tube containing 5 milliliters of LB broth and place it in the 37 degree water bath shaker. To best conserve time in this lab, we will start with steps 1 through 6 of part 2, which describes how to create competent cells. First, transfer 1.5 milliliters of plasminless E. coli cells to a microfuge tube on ice. Remember to practice sterile technique to prevent contamination. A sterile micropipette tip should be used for each transfer and the covers to various tubes should only be opened when necessary. Centrifuging this tube for two minutes will pellet the cells to the bottom of the tube. Following centrifugation, the cells are seen as a pellet at the bottom of the tube. Carefully pour off the supernatant into a biohazard waste bucket, taking care not to pour off the pellet in the process. The pellet can then be resuspended with 0.75 milliliters of calcium chloride by repeatedly flushing up and down the tube as shown. The cells are now fragile, so avoid vortexing them. As before, pellet the cells in the centrifuge for two minutes, then resuspend them, this time in only 200 microliters of calcium chloride, as shown here. Aseptically transfer the 200 microliters of solution into two equal tubes, 100 microliters each. Place these tubes on ice. Over time, at least 30 minutes, these cells will become competent, and for the rest of the lab, these are the competent cells. Take care to remember this.